What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video, we are going to be listening to part 1 of the radio play, Dr. Zorbo's Revenge. These radio plays are pretty amazing, and they release alongside, sometimes, the scoreboards. This one's releasing alongside the scoreboard 7, so with that being said, let's get into it. Gather around your radio once again for another exciting tale from the world of hubris. This week, listen in on the latest episode following the exploits of our favorite villain. Join in for another exciting installment of Zorbo's Revenge. Behold, my subjects. It is I, Dr. Zorbo the former and future Emperor of the Universe. Captain Cosmos thinks he defeated me in the legendary run, but his cheating ways will not go unpunished. I shall travel the universe to gather my forces and create the Star Mangler, the most destructive war machine ever conceived. And I will have Revenge! Tonight, in Chapter 1 of Zorbo's Revenge, we find ourselves within the cold metallic walls of Planet Spibulor's military headquarters. It is here, bent over a shiny titanium map of the neighboring galaxy, that the distinguished General Confusion plans his next invasion. The glory, the gunfire, the screams of helpless civilians! Under my command, another planet will soon fall to the steely might of Spibulor! Now, if only I could make sense of this map... Little does our alloyed overlord know that the nefarious Dr. Zorbo has infiltrated the facility and is making his way closer as we speak. <coughs> <coughs> Blast this cramped air vent. I've inhaled enough flervovium dust to power my spaceship for a century. But I should reach General Confusion's personal chambers soon enough. Curses! This is a map of my own galaxy! No wonder I can't find the invasion target! <clears throat> Did I hear something? Hmm. It must have been the caffeine synthesizer. General, I'm trying to make a dramatic entrance here. An unexpected visitor! Could it be? The Emperor who battled in a magnificent race across the galaxy, who stood up to the repugnant morals of that astronaut and his monkey. You must be the one and only Captain Cosmos! Yes, yes, you're honored to meet... Wait, what? You've got us backwards. I'm Dr. Zorbo. Is that so? I can't quite see you. Uh, let me raise my optical visor. Uh, watch where you're shooting. We are on the same side. At least I think we are. Uh, my apologies. That was my optical disintegrating beam. <laughs> I really need to get those buttons moved further apart. Yes, yes, yes. Well, as I was saying, I am the former and future Emperor of the Universe, the glorious Dr. Zorbo. And I have heard tell of your authoritarian pursuits, General. You shall be honored to serve me in a quest to take back my rightful claim on the universe. Excellent! My recruitment drive has really come to a standstill recently, Dr. Zirconium. To have you come and volunteer to command an army in honor of Spibulor, it brings oil to my ducts. Oh, that is disgusting. Now, how did you even come to that misunderstanding, General? <laughs> After all, your martial prowess is truly admirable. But your deductive reasoning skills... Poor. I see now how you got your name. What was that? We must band together and build a giant death machine to take down Jingles the Moon Mongoose? Now that is a directive I can agree with, Doctor. Let's get started immediately. How did you... Uh, I didn't even mean... Uh, oh, never mind. We'll sort this out later. Uh! A spiked cage? Why in the world is your personal chamber rigged with death traps? Why, 
doctor. You step right onto that bathroom scale. It should be quite easy to avoid. Of course. I stepped there on purpose. It was just a test. Your deceptive ineptitude is quite a force to be reckoned with, General. Welcome to... Uh, the team. Now let me out of here! It takes several hours, but General Confusion finally locates the button to disarm Dr. Zorbo's unfortunate prison. Not before trying out a litany of other similarly unlabeled death trap buttons. Against all odds, the two villains come out of the ordeal unscathed, having forged an iron bond on the shared frustration of misunderstanding each other. Who will Dr. Zorbo recruit next? And when the time comes for them to face each other, will Captain Cosmos fall prey to General Confusion's baffling misconceptions? The thrilling tale of Zorbo's revenge continues tonight as Dr. Zorbo makes his way to the ocean world of Maul, accompanied by his new ally, General Confusion. Here, in the floating wave city, Dr. Zorbo seeks the recently invented Flogiston Drive, an engine of terrible power that is perfectly suited to serve his fearsome star mangler. We join the action as Dr. Zorbo and General Confusion stalk the salt sprayed streets of nighttime wave city, approaching the warehouse where the Flogiston Drive is stored. Quietly now, General. Dr. Zorbo fears no man. However, uh, we must take the drive under cover of darkness. This engine is a formidable source of power. With it at the heart of my star mangler, no authority in the galaxy will be able to stop me in my quest to destroy Captain Cosmos. At last we're here. We shall use the repulsor bells to lift ourselves unseen. To the roof, Confusion! Ha! This warehouse door is no match for the metallic might of General Confusion! A bold entrance, exactly as planned. Your fearsomeness is matched only by your foolishness, General. Let us act with haste before your blundering attracts unwanted attention. Inside the darkened space of the warehouse, Dr. Zorbo seeks out the crate where the Flogiston Drive is stored, only to find that someone else has gotten there first. Get a move on, boys! That high-tech whatchamacallit is gonna make me the richest octopus this side of the galactic center! Boss, I don't know how we're gonna get this thing out of here. Ain't none of us strong enough to lift it! Use some of those anti-grav dollies over there, you morons! Any other you sea cucumbers got any dumb questions? I got eight arms and a saw for every one of them, so think real careful-like before you ask. I crawled out of the sea and built a criminal empire the likes of which this planet has never seen, and I still gotta put up with these palookas? Dr. Zorbo, that squid is stealing the engine we came to steal! Are we stealing from them, or are they stealing from us? What's that? Somebody call me a squid? I cannot imagine why I brought you on a stealth mission, General. Agreed, Dr. Zorbo! A job like this requires daring and a full frontal assault, exactly as we discussed! Whoever you are back there, you better get ready to sleep with the fishes! I got a whole chopper squad here to fill you full of holes! Get them, boys! Dr. Zorbo and General Confusion hide behind a wall of crates as the octopoid mobster's weapons rain screaming energy blasts in their direction. Pinned down by the hapless minions of a backwater gangster, this insult shall not go unavenged. These hooligans will flee without their leader. Cut off the head of the snake and the body will die. Snake, where? It was a metaphor, you simpleton! Swiftly now, General! Use your optical beam disintegrator and destroy this mobster mollusk! Nothing could be simpler for the steely warlord of Spipula! General Confusion's optical disintegrator lances skyward in a brilliant blast of energy. A girder from the structure above crashes to the ground, landing upon the advancing gunman. That's exactly the opposite of what I meant, buffoon! However, I cannot fault the results. So now, to face this eight-legged strong armor! Dr. 
Dr. Zorbo and General Confusion emerge from their hiding place, squaring off against the furious Octosaw. So, you're the creeps trying to muscle in on my legitimate theft. A tin man and a bubble brain clown. Well, that might be a fancy weapon you got, but I ain't met a goon yet who can face down the furious blades of Octosaw. I'm gonna cut you both down to chum! Circle behind him, Confusion. He may have eight arms, but he can't look in two directions at the same time. A cunning plan, Doctor. No, you idiot! That's the exit! Go oh, forget it! Octo saw, is it? Uh, look, if profit is your goal, perhaps I have an offer that would interest you. Yeah, it'd have to be pretty good. This here Flogey Watson is worth a lot of credits. Why shouldn't I just kill you and take it? Well then, I shall tell you. Imagine the money you could make with the power of the most fearsome evil minds in the galaxy at your side. The breadth of your criminal empire when, with my help, you spread it well beyond this uh, soggy den of misery. Imagine what you could get away with in a galaxy without that do-gooder, Captain Cosmos. I am the once and future Emperor of the Universe, Dr. Zorbo. Give me the Flungston Drive, and join me in my quest to reclaim my throne. And I shall bring you power and wealth, undreamt of, and your little octo-fantasies. Emperor, eh? Sounds like a lot of dough in that racket. Oh, yes. Fathomless riches. All yours, too. If you help me. Hmm. All right, Zorbo, you got yourself a deal. I need a vacation anyway. But you even think of cutting me out of the payoff and... Perish the thought. And so, the evil Dr. Zorbo enlisted the help of the Mollusk Mob Boss of Maul, gaining yet another villainous ally in his quest to defeat Captain Cosmos once and for all. The Star Mangler moves ever closer to completion as Dr. Zorbo installs its new Flogiston Drive. With the tentacle terror of Octosaw at his side and general confusion's confusion corrected, what malevolent master of mayhem will Dr. Zorbo seek out next?